Hey guys, what is going on? So in my time playing Destiny, which is Forever. far too long, I have noticed lots of mistakes that players make and even myself at times. So I wanted to put together a video explaining the do's and don'ts of Destiny to help people, whether it's raids, soul activities, etc. Some of these may be pretty obvious, but I feel it's something everyone needs to hear to be better prepared. So here is nine tips to improve your play. Before we even get into an activity, give your loadout some TLC. Have an idea of a type of build that you want and focus on that. You would use certain builds in certain situations. For example, you don't want to use a high DPS build for an encounter that doesn't have any bosses. You instead would want to focus on something that's good for ad clear or staying alive. If you're unsure exactly where to start, there are plenty of guides online for good builds. <clears throat> Utilize your mods and use the weapons that support your playstyle and build. For example, one of the most popular Solar Warlock builds currently is the Sunbracer build. It involves getting essentially infinite grenades. So you start there and work backwards. How do I get my grenades back? What weapons should I use that supports this sort of build? These are the things that you should figure out. So learn, perfect your build, and then watch the results. This goes along with the previous step, but if you take the time to perfect and make a build, actually utilize the build. There are so many occasions where I will see someone with sunbraces equipped, but they're using healing grenades, or using a liar's handshake build, but they're using auto rifles and not mailing anything. What are you doing? So just make sure if you make a build, you stay true to what that build is. Remember, you built it out that way for a reason. Regardless of the activity, play smart. Use cover, use abilities, use the tools at your disposal and the map to stay alive. Think of positioning and spawn locations of enemies. Don't just go mindless into a group of enemies on harder activities. If an ogre champion is focusing you and you cannot stagger it, then take cover and look for an alternative attack plan. Brute force can only get you so far. These are why these abilities exist, is to give you an advantage over hordes of enemies. This ties into the last few steps, but what I mean by this is just because a teammate dies out in the open does not mean you need to drop everything and go attempt the revive. Play smart, play your life, play your build. Look for the opportune moment, and as long as there is no countdown for the revive, focus on playing the way you need to so that you can stay alive. If you're doing like a nightfall and you try to force the revive, instead of one dead guardian, you can quickly turn that into two. This one has layers. If it's a raid, it helps to do the research for the encounter so you know at least somewhat what you need to do. If it's a dungeon, same thing. But if you're fully prepared and know spawn locations of champions and what comes next for each encounter, you can anticipate it. And this can lead to better positioning and quick melting of bosses and champions. This can also help with survivability in a major way too. Imagine you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off and an ogre spawns a foot behind you. You probably don't live long after that. For example, watch what we do here in this nightfall. Once you shoot the vent or whatever that thing is, we know that two overload champions will spawn in this hallway. So we've positioned ourselves to get a fast, easy, quick melt. I stun and my teammate hits him with a super easy peasy one, two punch onto the next part we go. Ammo conservation plays such a critical role in the world of Destiny. If there are three people shooting trace rifles at an overload champion and it's stunned, there is no reason you need to whip out the rocket launcher for the quick melt. Save that shit. Use it for the boss or in case of an emergency. Ammo economy is the biggest problem I see with players currently. It could be impatience or fear of not killing that enemy, but if you do all the previous steps, then this one should come a little bit more naturally. But don't do this. Instead, do this. Prioritize targets. I see this non-stop. There are certain levels of threats to you and your fire team. Obviously, things that are a higher threat should be dealt with at a quicker pace than something that isn't as much of a threat. Enemies like ogres and wyverns, they typically like to get up close and personal, and they can also pack a punch. Champions, like unstoppables, definitely take priority over acolytes. This goes back to knowing the mechanics, but know the threats of an encounter or an activity and assess how to deal with each part of it in the correct order. If members of your fire team start dying left and right, don't panic. Let's call back to the player game tip. Play smart, be aware, and keep cool. If you're the last member alive of the fire team, it's time to show them that alpha that you really are. Be flexible, and no, instead of attack mode, it's time to slip into defense mode until you can revive or respawn or whatever. Just whatever you're back to full strength. The moment you start freaking out, 
or panicking because you're the last alive, you've already lost. Just relax and play your game. If you've made it this far into the video, give yourself a little loving from me. You're welcome. Destiny is such an enjoyable game. Hell, that's why my channel is all about it. But Destiny gets elevated to one of the best games when you have a fun fire team to enjoy it with. If you're a day one raider, perfect build, no nonsense, find other players that share that passion. Uh, if you're the experimental type, like to goof off and try new builds, definitely don't play with the tryhards. Find the group that is right for you, and I know a great place to start. I have a Discord that is rapidly growing. We have over 130 of you at the time of this recording, and we are always welcoming new people. Whether you're new to the game, or a seasoned vet, or looking to get back into it, whatever it is. We accept all walks of life, and as long as you're kind, courteous, and respectful to others, there will always be a place for you here in the Discord and on my channel. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully this video has helped you out. And that is going to be it for me. I am Audi. Peace, y'all.